Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by and joining me for another paint pouring video. I wanted to show everyone a little painting that I did here. It's Halloween week. Uh, so I did something with paint brushes. I'm not very used to using paint brushes, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Enjoyed doing it. This was inspired by something that I came across online. So yeah, just a little little spook for you. My mama did this one. All right, so today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. I actually just finished watching a video a few moments ago of Canela Sirocco, her latest video. Um, she did a Dutch pour with fall colors. So this painting is going to be inspired by that. If you have not checked out Canela Sirocco, go check her out. She is simply amazing. Um, she's a very great teacher with her Dutch pour paintings. Um, definitely go check her out. All right, I am going to go get started. I'm gonna flood my canvas and I will be back in a moment. All right, everyone, welcome back. I got my canvas flooded working on a 16 by 20 today. Um, I got like a split going here. I got white going down the middle and then I got a caramel color on the outside. Uh, colors today, going to be using a red wine, a burnt orange. I got some metallic antique gold. Using some nutmeg brown. And I've got some yellow here. Um, still kind of undecided if I want to use that or not. I might do just a little, little bit. So, let's get the pour in here. I'm gonna pour just up the line here where the two colors meet. Don't want to do too thick of lines. This is that red line. Just a little line of this nutmeg brown. A oh, little, little, little. I wish I had these colors in these bottles here. It makes this uh, so much easier because you can just do. Definitely a good investment. I definitely need to get some lower. All right, so I think I am gonna do a little yellow. Um, but I'm going to use my popsicle stick because I want very, very little. Actually had to go grab me some water in this because this yellow was pretty thick. Alright. Just a little bit through here. It's 
still a little thicker than I'd like it to be. All right, I think that's enough yellow. All right, last color. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of rose gold. Help give it some more shimmery. I like shimmery. I love, 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 love glitter. When I was younger, um, used to get glitter all over the bathroom and my parents would get so mad at me. I'm really liking how these colors are looking together. I'm just hoping when we blow this out, I'm gonna be able to keep them. All right, so you see how I got a little couple, little speckles on my white? That is okay. That is gonna go away when we blow this out. Um, now my edges, when I flood my canvas, um, I do touch base on them a little bit, but I do not focus on them so much until after my blowing. So just a little FYI of what I do. Now I do have thumb tacks underneath here. That way my canvas is elevated, helps the drying process. All right, got my handy dandy blow dryer. Let's blow her out and see what happens. I think I want to start here in the middle. Right. I see a lot of really neat cell action going on here. Really happy with that. Ah. I did keep all of my colors and very glad I did not use a lot of the yellow, but I do see it here in a few spots. So that is nice. Ah. All right, I definitely think these are some fall colors. Very nice. So I think I am going to mess around with this a bit and probably blow a couple spots out a little further, like right here. I've got some solid color, probably gonna blow that out a little bit. And 
probably down here a little bit where I got some of the solid orange down here. All right, I'm gonna play around with it for a minute and I will bring you all in for a close up. All right, everyone, here is the close up. Look at this. I am super happy with how this Dutch pour turned out. And that says a lot because I am still trying to master this Dutch pour technique. And I want to be like Canela Sirocco. She does it so beautifully. I really like this painting. Uh, I wish I would have a little bit more of a solid white in the middle, but uh, I'm really happy with it. All right, everyone, let me know what you think. Give me some comments, give me some advice. Always happy to hear from you. I wanna thank you for stopping by and joining me. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone has a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Hey Leanne, if you're watching this video, I love you.